It's, this was the toughest race I've ever had. An arrogant or a loud person like Noah. Throw on their fur. Ah! Oh, that looks good. Not <laughs> <laughs> Box cover, this is Dr. Berry and welcome to another social media top 10 countdown. Now, this social media countdown is all about the Olympic Games that happened in Paris. It done the two weeks done and I am just so happy. So let's get into the Olympic edition of the social media countdown. <laughs> The dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. Yeah. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner are coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, hey. box cover, and cover all the topics like an evening. Box cover, mix up, blender, all them suck me, I will have me now the week, yo, just tune in. Zin. Number 10, medal redemption. Arab burritos no low. Let me, me have to go take this back with this number in the like. So we have three of our Jamaican Olympians that got bumped up to get some better um, medals after some athletes when they did above them in the original games, them did get tested for, you know, like, well, that this, but them did that take drums like Marian Jones and them little people there. Yeah, man. So let me just go read you and give you this update from the Jamaica Gleaner. So they say that, hold on. So them say Olympians Beverly McDonald, Chelsea Hammond Ross, and Kali Spencer Carter were officially awarded their reallocated Olympic medals at a ceremony held at Champions Park in Paris, right? So they go on to say that paraded in front of the fans with the Eiffel Tower in the background, McDonald Hammond Ross and Spencer Carter received their medals from the 2000 Sydney, 2008 Beijing and 2012 London Games respectively. McDonald was given her upgraded bronze medal in the women's 200 meter after American Marianne Jones mm -hmm, um, won the gold and admitted to taking performance enhancing drugs. You remember we hear about the story there. Now, Haman Ross was upgraded to bronze in the women's long jump in 2008 after a retest of the silver medal winner, Russian Tatiana Lebadeva, in 2017, revealed a banned substance and she was then disqualified. Boy, oh boy. And then Spencer Carter got an upgraded bronze from the 400 meter hurdles final in London because of the disqualification of Natalia. Um, who was a Russian athlete with an involved in a some doping scandal as well. So all in all, I am just very happy for these Jamaican women so them get them upgraded medals. And even though them can't get back the time because they would have loved it in at the stadium and feel the energy from the crowd, it's nice to see that, you know, they're able to get their moments to, you know, celebrate their feet. So let me know what you thought of these moments, burritos. Sound off below. Number nine, athletes on social. Our readers know now this may have to go talk about the Jamaican athletes at the Paris Olympics who not only did go there for go show off them talents on the track and field, but they also decided to show off their personality by doing several videos for social media. So may I talk people from Romain Beckford to Jaden Hibbert to Natalia Ghoul, like uh, so many of the athletes where, you know, Janelle Bramfield use social media to either show off them dance moves on TikTok Took to giving us behind the scene coverage with YouTube channels as well as just updating their Instagram going live at the opening ceremony and I was definitely all here for it. So let's take a little look at some of the highlights. burritos man definitely that is it as some like to see the athletes them who understand that the games is not just about what them do on the track and the field you know it's about building their portfolio building their brand identity and getting more people to buy into their persona because so you get the brand deals and them something there so burritos let me know who you are definitely keeping up with <laughs>
Shady to Bogo. No, my readers know. Let me just go tell you this. Like, Leslie, the Botswanaan, Botswanaan sprinter. Yeah, man. The African sprinter, like... Me have to say big him up on winning the 200 meter final at the Olympic Games in Paris, right? But what has definitely like just ignited uh, people on social media is discovering how shady he, he is. He's, he's, he's made it known that he's such a big fan of the living legend Usain Bolt, right? And he has been taking jabs at uh, Mr. Fastest Man Alive, Noah Lyles, in his post-race interviews. Now, this is what he had to say about beating the fastest man. Even up to today, I still don't believe that I, I, I managed to, to beat him, you know, because uh, we know Lyles is the, he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the fastest uh, human being on the planet, you know, so for me, uh, I'd say even now I could retire with my win, but unfortunately... <laughs> and then another interview at the, um, the post, the post race um, conference, and this one, it's a brother opening more than say, I think uh, for me, I can't be the, the face of athletics because uh, I'm not uh, an arrogant or a loud person like Noah. So I believe Noah is the face of athletics. Oh, Lord, man. I am definitely ear feet. Like, can we give Leslie like an honorary Jamaican status because the way you him at arm not by Noah's neck? Yeah, man, this is a very Jamaican tactic. We have to go big up a brother, but African brother, Leslie. So round of applause for Leslie. Yeah, man. That definitely is the vibe. I know I deserve every bit of it. Ho hopefully he's COVID. Oh yeah, he is COVID free. Apparently, COVID only the last like 24 hours. So that's that's a, that's a miracle. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, next number. Number seven. Noah Radam. Me lion. All right, no readers know. So we're going to talk about Noah Lyles, the fastest man alive. So you know, so Noah, he won the 100 meter final at the um, Paris Olympics. Yeah, man. He, he edged out like, I think I probably him nipple crossed the line before um, Kishin. Because that was that close. Like him literally win by a nipple. You get me? That's how him win the race, right? And so, you know, him, him getting bragging rights now. And so he took to the 200 meter final now. Um, where him jump up. Anything sweet you? Go and show your ass. And one bag of energy and all of these things. And he lost. No way kill me, you know, the brother lose, lose, lose the 200 meter race and come third. But what went viral is his post race and ticks. Brother! No, no, nothing. The brother drop on the ground, stretch out for comfy wheelchair, him can't breathe, and everything was in the name of like suddenly, all of a sudden, COVID was in the room. But where was the COVID when they, in the, you know, the changing era with the other athletes, them, and I put for them health at risk? No COVID never present them time there. No protocol. And did you see all them somersault boom flick and become where oh my name again? I Gabby. Where oh my name again? No, I'm not Gabby. Gabby was the one before. Simone Biles. Him do all kind of gymnastics. Boom and flick. Fuck up on the field. Before him do the 200 meter final. And COVID was nowhere in sight. But the minute. But this where reach him. I attack laps. You run off your mouth and you didn't plan for more than the double double. You would really want the double double goal because the people that make you win the race by your nipple now, you say, Yeah, man, if me can win the 100 meter, and this is not even my favorite, me have to win the 200 meter, the people then flap you, you get flapped in at the show, dust out, and the anxiety, the stress. Because we know you bet by yourself. We know you probably use somebody and tell you, say, Yeah, man, bet for me, man, win some money. And when you look past it, everything flash in front of you, yeah, I could go back in the group chat. Because you know you did run off your mouth, say, yeah, Easy, cheesy win this for you. And but oh, you're gonna do the next you see in bolt and all them because something and yet you have to flap yourself. So I eat shame you. I eat shame you. I saw it go, man. I just saw it go. Come like when they just book a girl and you tell the girl say you're gonna get a little thing for like a two hours straight. And when you go there, the soap does go, you know, like when curtain are closed, just you know, like a scooby doo look of ice. Yeah, man, like a scooby doo. Yeah, man. And shame my kid and also you just have to go tell like and say, boy, you know, me have got two things. My sister, my dog, and my auntie dead in one plane crash and you have to just. Yeah, man, that's the way they are doing. It was performative, Noah. Okay, but anyway, um, Barry does let me know. He is now COVID free. He put out the day after that, now said so all of a sudden COVID missing. And we saw one video where I show him a dance in a club, like enjoying his win. And so I don't know when the COVID actually reached him, but I guess he remembered it when he lost the 200. So can we have a moment of silence for Noah's pain and suffering that he went through in a 24 48 hour period.
All right, moving right along. Number six, Daniel versus J3A. No readers now, let me tell you, I appear on pandemonium and pure little excitement of going to Paris. And I don't talk about the medals and we are winning. Everything we are going behind the scenes. And so Daniel uh, Thomas Rado, may I get her name correctly, she's the national champion at the shot put. You get me? And so she, even at the, she's pretty good too. Because at the 2012 uh, Olympic Games held in London, like she actually placed fourth. And so that is very good for sister. We did right there just missing out on a podium position so that is daniel thomas right and so um at these games now during an interview it looked like my girl could take enough where i want take all of what i want behind the scenes and she aired it out she spoke she spoke and said she can't do it no more and she's tired of um the dealings with the j3a as well as the jamaica olympic association take a listen tell us a bit about what happened out there um i mean it's been a tough couple of weeks um you know, the qualification is something that is definitely within my reach. However, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been very frustrating um, to every time come to these major champ um, Olympic Games and, you know, not making the finals. And, um, you know, this time around, it was definitely something that I felt like was easy for me to do. Um, however, I didn't have my coach here. I've been in the village for two and a half weeks. And I was denied the, the privilege of, of, of having a, a coach's pass for my coach to even be at the, the training facilities for two and a half weeks. So you're talking about 365 days of training just gone down the drain because I didn't have my coach for two and a half weeks while being here. So it is definitely very frustrating, um, you know, and it's, 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 I think it's something that I definitely have to sit and reflect on and, and moving forward as to you know, what will be definitely best for me and my mental health because I cannot do this anymore. It's very frustrating dealing with JOA and J3A because these people don't care about field events in Jamaica. And if they did, they would make sure that we have everything we need to make us comfortable because my coach is not just a part of my my my, 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 my training process. You know, he's a very crucial part of my warm up and getting ready for preparations. And I didn't have him for two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. It's very frustrating because this is definitely something that I'm more than capable of obtaining. And I came short today. Yeah, man, I should never stop there saying or she also said this. Yeah, I can feel and sense and understand your frustration, particularly now that you see Jamaica competing so well in the field event. Exactly, and that's the irony of it. The gold medal that they were sitting down waiting for did not come from the track. It came from the field events. And, that's, and, the, and those are the events that they neglect so much in Jamaica. And most of the medals that we have gotten so far at these games comes from the field events. And we're the most marginalized groups within Jamaica track and field. And it's very frustrating and it's time for them to stop and really reflect on what they're doing to us as athletes. Daniel Thomas, I'm grateful you spoke your mind to us and I'm so compassionate and sorry for your experience. You really performed well on this world stage. Well done. Thank you very much. And things read so much now till Twitter jumping now. It reached over nationwide. And then news came in. It reached another stratosphere that um, apparently the people from the J3 or J JOA were asking that she recant her statements. Them so she not end up in another little bangarang and can't go to any future Olympic Games. So that they look like some little badness was being presented. Now, uh, subsequently after that, now we hear so nothing really going to so, but it still felt like, you know, there was a sort of energy where them feel like she was being childish and not being mature enough in how she was handling it. And I'm just like, me no, me no think this really look good for the J3A and the JOA because we've always been hearing a lot about these, these government, um, these national organizations that they tend to not always have the athlete's best interest at heart. And so based on public perception, the public is definitely siding with Daniel because, uh, it is definitely echoing the, sent the sentiments of a lot of uh, other athletes. And so Warren Weir jumped into the conversation. He was also sharing his experience and what he's hearing from other athletes. And I guess that is to further support that this is a growing trend that has been happening. So it's not limited to Daniel's accusation. Other athletes in the camp would have been faced and she wanted to have her coach there. And people are saying, you know, people, other relatives that I get access. And so let's just see how this will all play out. Um, because right now the minister gonna need for jump in of sports and for go jump in and so them can intervene and actually make some real changes. So readers, let me know. Are you team Daniel or team um, J3A? Sound off below. Number five, field events shine. Burritos, no, this is just where we just go and talk. May I have to talk right now. I may have to say big up to the field event athletes, them because boy, oh boy, them are the saving grace for this Olympic Games. You know, so Jamaica finished 44th. 
pan 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 the table and this has been her our lowest um olympic medal um medal in number since i think is is athens is one of them that the early 2000s where we did only get like five medals then we got six this this go around and it was really very much from the uh the field events it's for the caribbean the caribbean absolutely i'm so proud of her she knows Mike? we know what we went through we had a chat at the beginning of the season yes sometimes it's like god when is it your turn exactly and then look at us in our turn yep Come on now, I'm so proud of her. Incredible updates, and here's a bit of history. <laughs> Stoner rings the bell, and that is a bell that yeah man so but i forgot big up um roger stoner and of course the gold medal in the in the men's discus discus throw we also have um you know from wayne pinnock the men's long jump he gave us a silver medal we have um shanice ricketts who got the silver medal in at a triple drum uh who else we have to big up now we also have to go and go big up of course um r campbell who got the bronze medal in at the men's shot put yeah, man, and so that was it for the field events, man. And outside of that, no, I forgot to get big up to, um, of course, Kishin, who gave us a silver medal uh, in the men's 100 meter, and Rashid Broadbell, who gave us the bronze medal. So overall, I think for the next Olympic Games, we have to just make sure that we focus more on the field events, because by then, no, if them can give us six, and then we can get some more medals on the track side, which we could be looking at our highest medal tally for the next Olympic Games. So let's just see, fingers crossed. Now, here is this week's random video of the week. Hey, the the when the sun has thrown the 70, <laughs> we get up and we have the flag. <laughs> and we're like, Does know so on the air the title we're gonna talk about uh Kishi and Thompson and this doesn't have to do anything with or the silver medal where him get um on the track. No, let me just clear this like a part of track and field is also it brings out a lot of thirstiness. And so the chosen person on the Jamaican um team this year has been Kishane Thompson. And so if you don't know, like when people start for do a um what you call it a, a video, what you call that thing with them do very does you can leave a comment down below and uh, remind me. When you get a video, when you put your video in a slow motion and put one little song behind I know, that is when people start, for, oh, give you an edit. People give you an edit on TikTok when they stick a like into your art start for crush by you. And since these Olympic Games, people have been doing their own kishane edits, such as this. Won't you be my snuggly? You could be the one, hey. It's done with a handshake, baby. I'm a new one than a and so a part of this now is because they are crushing and lusting. So let me just go and read you some of the comments them that people made on social media after um, some of these edits were made. So some people are asked if I'm a brother. One of the girls said, Iman Stonia, my God. Um, that dangling earring um, I like. Another person said, um, what? Uno think uno earth? Him have my last name. Pain in every language. Jesus. Another person said, you know, say we love man though. Smiley face. Another one say, um, watch me here smiling from ear to ear. I'm old enough to be his mother. Another person say, I wonder which part of Jamaica I'm come from. Hold on. Somebody say, listen, half the Kishian and half the stoner we can't share. Somebody else say, I wouldn't did the hide him. And somebody, and somebody says, he looks like he talks you through it. What, what could that mean? What that mean? Him look like him talk you through it. Through what? Very does. We don't understand what this mean. Somebody said, why wasn't this video 15 minutes long? Somebody said, I did nice set of athlete they may ever see on Jamaica track from both male and female. One other person said, watch your man. So right about now, we can count down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That um, some brand deals might be coming in for Kishi and Thompson. Because at the last Olympic Games, I felt like the person who was the chosen one was Hansel Parchment. And now it seems to me that Kishi and Thompson for this Olympic Games is a chosen person. So let's just see what Kishi will do with this momentum and energy. But Maridos, let me know. Are you team Kishi or are you still a key racket with answer parchment from the last Olympic Games? Sound off below. <laughs> Number three, Janelle Bromfield dissed. 
Our breeders now, so Janelle Brumfield, the 400 meter runner, she faced some heavy criticism after this moment that happened after Noah won the gold medal in the 100 meter, right? Where they were embracing and, you know, she was congratulating him. Many Jamaican fans and, you know, felt like she was, you know, being disloyal and not really supporting brand Jamaica. And them just never liked her from a long time with the whole entire uh, relationship that she has with Noah Lyles. Because they don't like Noah, feel the same as Lyle, I'm a rubber under the bus. So them just transfer all of that energy to Janelle Bromfield. But when things got um, more sticky in the dances, when people took aim at her melanin and started to use her complexion, calling her black as a diss. Janelle Brumfield, congratulations on qualification 51-3. Can you talk us through that race? Well, that race, my coaches told me to go there and set it up and just to finish strong because I wasn't finished strong in the 4 by 4 I feel as if I went out a little too conservative, so I had to fight a little bit in the end. But at least the part that we was working on paid off because coming off the turn, lane two was in front of me and I got the better of her, so. You always have such a pleasant disposition. You're all over the headlines and under a lot of speculation. How do you keep your spirit so high? Well, I told somebody before, I've been through so much in my life when my, the passing of my family and everything. So nothing that strangers or media or anything can say to bring me down personally because I've been through the worst and I've overcame that. So I can say I'm strong. I mean, the girl have our good melanin skin. You can't go them so and not talk that when you name black yourself too. Like you're talking about Jamaica people in the world of black over here so like have the same melanin and you yeah, yeah, go like that. There are other ways where you say, there are other ways you can talk about somebody man without really going to that level. Focus upon the point. If she says something, you can attack her upon the subject matter that she was speaking about. But to go and go talk about that, um, when the girl literally knew that she had a 400 meter or individual 400 meter event and she gave herself to the mixed relay team before um, so she could have helped us out reach into the final. And you have to go come in there for that. Right? It shows that she's a team player and um, we keep on a the relationship that she has with Noah. It goes beyond track and field. She lost many of her family members um, some years ago and she was depressed, almost stopped doing track and field after being such a stellar junior athlete at the champs level. She didn't take her break because she literally lose um, a bunch of her family members them in a short period of time and the only person who was there for her was Noah and Noah's family. You get me them take her in and she was living there as part of the family. And so, you, 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 the loyalty was sugar get and that support was sugar want to forgive them. You have to understand it, right? And I think Noah's mother even had her nails um, painted in a Jamaican color on one hand for support. Janelle on the other hand was there to support uh, Noah. So, I mean, gear, gear some slack. Um, and don't go to that level. That's all I have to go and say. But Junior Brumfield, big up yourself. Just don't pay the, the naysayers any mind because now that they know that this is a trigger, they will continue to fuel that um, that part of you. That's all I have to say. Mm. Number two, Stoner wins. All right, readers now. So let me just go and talk about uh, the only gold medal that Jamaica got at this Paris Olympic Games. And it came from the discus thrower, Roger Stone. Like, I'm not going to say it now. Roger Stone Gold Stone. All right. All right. Here's a concept. But you want to say Roger Stone Co Stone Gold? Not you know like Stone Cold Steve Austin. We used to do wrestling. Stone Cold Golder. Stone Cold Gold. What? Golder. Golder. Yes. Stone Cold Golder. Well, he's a record holder, mm -hmm. so it makes sense for him to be a golder. You get me? That's what you do. Yeah, man, that, that is it, that is it. So, uh, Roger, Roger Stone announced that he broke the Olympic record um, after throwing uh, 70 meters. No, you know how it kill me is how him do it. Because imagine you in the Olympic final are compete against the current record holder's son. And the son, three minutes before you go up, go broke Finn Father's Olympic record, which was, was 69 meters and like a mash mash. You come after that I celebrate, say, in my excellent father's legacy, show up at the Olympic Games in the final and beat film father record. And the brother clap and I say, Ray. And before the brother could even sit down and, and, and rest in foot and bask in the morning, he couldn't even go up on the phone and call him family members. Them, and say, Ray, why my brother daddy record? Look on this now. Roger just come up there and just show and just 
Take away the man issue. The man have the issue for the man have the record for most about four minutes. Four minutes the boy get the record. For imagine one Jamaican you him. You know, when we think about that, that is a that is some stone cold shit. That is some stone cold shit like in front of the youth, the, the, the record holder son. Jaja, no man, they want that rough. Me not fight. Me not have that fight to the one. I want that rough man. Jaja, but yeah, man, so I have to say big up to him because we I don't think anybody counted this gold medal coming from um a field event uh, person. We would have probably think say, so, okay, so I'll come in at the 200 meter probably with Sharika, probably in our lane, but like not um, the 100 meter, but not from a discus throw. So you realize, say, what Roger has done now, you know, he's going to be the face of men's discourse in Jamaica. Because we're not going to know nobody else but Roger Stoner. Especially him having a name like that. Because I tell you, you know, it isn't a name. It is a name. It's in a name. It me tell you a name, you know, a name. Me I tell you a name. A name. You have the UCN Bolt and him have to be a sprinter. You get me? Can you know bolt like a bolt of lightning? I know you have a youth when you stone away a fling. And that does a fling regularly, you know, but a fling record level. Same thing like a bolt. Let me, me tell you about man. Let me tell you about them something. Man. That is it, man. That is it. Like right now, Rashid Broadbelly didn't forget to join the JLP. Go join the JLP so you can you know, ring the bell and then look something there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I does I work in Grace so you sell broad bean or something like that, man. You must can make it work, man. You get me? So I them look something there. So Roger Stone, I definitely love that. And that's why I have to know I have to really think about my name, you know, because my name Barry. So you may know that that's why the countdown is so juicy. That's why the countdown is so good for you. Know. You get me? It's good because I'm not only a quench the thirst for the, for, the, for, the, for the topics them and for keep updated, but me also good for you because I edify you. Know. Good for your mind and your mental, make you know, keep you know, abreast of what's going on. So, you see that? It's all in the name. Right? We're going to focus on the dirty part. Alright, that's it. Yeah, man, let's lift the dirty part out there. And number one goes to. Paris of Crosses! Woo! Yes! Yes! That is it, man. Paris. Oh, God. Number one goes to Paris Acrasis. My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. Number one goes to Paris Acrasis. Like, I cannot say it enough. From within the city opening ceremony, we're supposed to know that this Olympic Games going to be wang, 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 wang. Boring. Right now, the thing where, right now, me never think so people did, 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 did have no more life inside of them. Until me hear about this Taffy versus Tash mix up where I took over the streets. And me say, people, wow, wake up early, forgot to hear the mix up. Me say, yeah, man, we did that look for a source of enjoyment and, 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 and fun that the Olympic Games never gave us. And so now people have to be giving that energy to Tash and Tavi. I'm still waiting on the update so I can give you another proper um, something and another countdown and one countdown quickie. But anyway, back to this. So let me just go tell you this. From the opening ceremony, trash, boring, yarn, yarn. Right now, we know so Jamaica should have all that Olympic opening ceremony because between what we that keep up with the excitement to go on a waterfront or wherever, we could have done a little something too. Make the youth them are, are go through Flatbridge. We could have done a little something and have a nice little show. You get money, you have all spice about there, and do a little thing, and then you have skinny bang jumping now. We could have done a little something bringing the Grand Gala people, they may fly out of the, the helicopter. And we could have done a good little show, you get me? Bring up the Tivoli that marching band. We could have a nice, entertaining show. Okay? And um, so that was bad. Yarn for that now. Now, when it comes on to the moments them that appear, bangarang and crosses that just happened, back to back to back to back. Let me go read the list when I see somebody post on, on Twitter. Right? So we have Kishi and Thompson narrowly losing. We're gonna talk about the zero zero, the zero, the point zero 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 five, right? Then you have Oli, um, Oli, um, oblique civ civil end up and get injured, a pull up. You have Sharika injury. You have Shelly injury. Shelly a pull up and some things. Then you have um Price ill. Nikisha Price who thinks so uh, they're gonna get a medal. She just randomly just get ill. No two hundred meter finalists for the men. I am I are the woman. No 400 meter finalists for the men are the woman. Akira did not finish. The men's 4x4 four four never qualified. The women's 4x4 four four randomly never finished because the girl bat just dropped out her and out of the blue after we did very much on track to medal. Um we reach now. The men's 4x1 didn't even qualify for the for the finals. Russia never finished. And a lot of other things now. Like, and I just all the lead up now. I just all things just mysteriously come out of the blue. This and that. So thank God, because if you never have the field events, we don't know. Feel it, if you never have the field events, we don't know. We'll have to go pack it up. Because it just come like everything we could have gone wrong, just go wrong. 
Everything could have gone wrong, could have gone wrong. So this is why I said these Olympic Games, thank you for the field people them and, and the two medals that we get from Rashid and something there. But it's, it's just one of them looking one way to go. We need to we need forget one like a center mass bath. We need to forget one like a bath and like a wash off. Because this Paris Games, yeah man, it no, I, I never eat this man. Right now, the way I'm fixing my TV one, I'm French fries. I just saw me stay right now. I forgot to take a stand. I just saw it stay right now. Yeah man. <laughs> Well, that's it, Marinos. Um, we've come to the end of the Olympic social media countdown. Uh, let me know what was your favorite part of these Olympic Games and the worst part of these Olympic Games. All right? Uh, make sure you say you like, you comment, you share, you subscribe, you, all of that, tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, thank you so much for making the Dutty Bear Show your channel to watch all of these as information and scoop also follow me on my social media at dr Berry show on facebook instagram twitter snapchat tiktok all over as well as to advertise within the social media countdown shoot me an email to bookings.dutterberryshow at gmail.com take care until next time ta-ta <laughs> The dirty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop All the things are going on and missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner not coming soon All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth Like, yo, hey, hey. Box cover, in cover all the topics like I'm in there Pot cover, mix up, blender All them suck me, I will have me now the week, yo Just tune in, zine